Right, is the mic working? I've got no idea. <laughs> it should be now. Right then. Hello everyone and welcome to my first stream of Project Zomboid. So, hello, 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 hello everyone. For some reason someone wanted me to say fart as the first word, I'm not going to do that. But, <laughs> but anyway, welcome. So, this is, I'm going to be playing as myself basically. I've chosen a load of different mods and added a load of different stuff uh, to me make sure that my character is me. Part of this is with the dynamic traits mod, so for example, because I'm overweight, I am high thirst and high appetite, all of that stuff. But we'll go through quickly. I'm disorganized. If you've seen any of my playthroughs, I am very, very disorganized uh, in game and in person. So yeah, um, nervous wreck. I'm a bit paranoid, so I'm going to keep that in. Weather sensitive. I get, I tend to get migraines and headaches when the weather's like that. Sensitive digestion, you blah, 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 snorer. So when I sleep, I snore, apparently. Uh, Lark, when it gets dark, I tend to get very tired very quickly. Fast learner, uh, fast reader, scrounger, obviously. <laughs> uh, hoarder, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm fairly quiet as a person walking around, so yeah, I decided to bring a backpack because although I'm disorganized, I am fairly prepared, which does counteract each other, but yeah. Uh, gardener, because I like gardening and foraging in real life and, and in this. Uh, keen hit, listening, pack mule. Yeah, but I'm out of shape, stout, hearty appetite, and high thirst, so yes. But anyway, uh, this is a very, very modded playthrough, and on, I believe it's very high population. So I'm going to post the details and mod list later on, but right now, I'm just going to grab what I can and head off. So uh, that would be quite good to have. So I think on, ooh. I didn't realize we had this stuff on us. We've got loads of stuff. Um, honestly, don't know why we've got all of that stuff. <laughs> that's that's a bit bizarre. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll read that quickly as well. So, there are lots and lots and lots of zombies out and about. I know this. I had a little quick look out the window, and I know there were quite a few. So, yeah. Unemployed is my starting class just because uh, it was the closest I can get. I mean, office workers probably about the same anyway. Oh my god. Okay, that's an amazing find. Gonna take that. Uh, carpentry, yes, and that. And that as well. Oh, there's everything. Right, quickly just go through all this. There we go, lovely. So, um, we're gonna need to get... This is too heavy. We're gonna need to get rid of this stuff. And then we're gonna need to get stuck in as quickly as possible. So, quickly... Get rid of that, get rid of that, read that and get rid of it. So I spawned in Rosewood, which is something I haven't actually done, I don't think, ever on a series. So I thought it might, it's probably worth it in the long run. Well, I thought it was just worth doing. Okay, already a zombie has seen me. Um, right, we're going to have to get rid of all this stuff. Quickly put it in there. We need some water. Please, can we put it away? That'd be nice. Come on. Uh, fill up one of them. So currently the settings are that, like I said, very high spawn. We have everything else going for us. So for the first time in a long time, I think I'm playing in a series where the power is on, everything else is on. Uh, we are playing with a bunch of stuff. So Saf's cooking, which is I think the first time I've ever used it. So I used it in a personal playthrough, really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd uh, give it a go in this. Meat tenderizer, I'm taking that. Uh, oh, I, I think it's the first time I've ever played with a disorganized trait on. So it's a bit weird doing this. Because normally I have so much space, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Hello. Right, but because we're a pack one, we've got 19 carry capacity on our inventory. So we are fine. Really? Okay. <laughs> that's a uh, that's fun. 
quickly check the bedroom, and then we can actually get started. When such, no. Okay. We don't have a weapon. Oh, what? Okay, we do have a weapon. We've got a gardening fort. Why do we have all this stuff? Is that because of the traits I've taken? That's crazy if it is. Um, why would we need 17 plastic bags? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Take this one out. Come on. There we go. Fine. <laughs> there. Okay, this is horrible already. Why is the first day foggy? Well, let's check this out. Because this is a nice truck already. If we can... Uh... Oh, it's got the... Okay, it's got food. Hello. Okay, goodbye. Not crouching for a minute. Nothing in there. Great. Okay. Right, I forget how useless we are. We don't have anything. My fitness is horrendous. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be interesting. I think... And a generator straight away. Nice. And a saw. Okay, we're going to need to get rid of some of this stuff. I know some of it's useful, but like plastic bags... Do we need nearly two weight of plastic bags? Not really. We'll take two of them. Yeah, exactly. We, do, we don't need all of this. This is ridiculous. Um, We don't need all of that. We've got loads of bottles. So, quick shut the door. We do not want a zombie sneaking up on us. Um, Right. We've read that. Don't need that. Hello. Hello. Why do we have three can openers? And five forks. I don't think we need five forks. I'm going to take... We only need one. We're only... Where's only one of us? Uh, Bass knives might be useful as an actual weapon, so we'll take them. Uh, same with the screws. Take them. So everything is on extremely rare loot. It's. I'm not using a mod that lowers anything loot-wise. It's just as is. But I'm going to need to find somewhere to stay the night, especially if I'm a snorer. I don't know how snoring works exactly. I'm presuming it is just... As in real life, we are very loud when we sleep. So probably going to want to be somewhere fairly out the way as a base. Come on, let me in. Oh, you dick. <laughs> Remove that so we can get in. Yeah, probably because of a prepared trait, I guess. Uh, duct tape, fix a flat, strip meat from corpses. <laughs> okay, this uh, this series has taken a turn already, hasn't it? I do not know. If you have any suggestions for a base, let me know. Uh, does the base game, does this game have chainsaws? Um, there is a mod that adds it. I can't remember if I did add it. I think I might have done. So we might see chainsaws. I will need to check that. Right, okay. Smash bottle garbage bag. Take the garbage bags as and when we can. We need to sort our inventory. Come on. We don't need that again. We've already read it. Okay. That'll do. Yeah, I think third floor, as you suggest, is probably best. But we are, by the look of it, in the residential area of Rosewood. I don't really like Rosewood, although, to be fair, out of everywhere, it's probably more preferable to some of the other places. Right, let's just stop crouching. Yo, how's it going? Okay. We've already got a few on us. It's fine. We're fine. The problem is that we just need to get out of here. Um, we need to get somewhere fairly rural, I guess. Somewhere fairly out of the way. Oh, God. Bad. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> Oh, I really need to check where I'm going. Quickly check in here. Beer. I need beer. Beer is good. Uh, plastic filter holder? Sure. Peanut oil. Uh, can tuna. Sure. And a dish towel in case I get cold. Or wet or whatever. Um, anything in here? Perfume. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It was very close. And they're already on us. Right, out we go. We're fine. Everything's fine. 
Okay, we've got a few up there. Why am I in pain? Why have I got head pain? Oh, weather sensitive. <laughs> uh, fire station is probably a good shout. Um, thing is, when was the last time I was in Rosewood? No idea. I suppose further. It's south, isn't it? The only issue is how, because of how unfit I am, I am probably going to get tired very quickly. Right. It requires a higher alcohol content for Molotovs. I don't think beer would work. Um, yeah. Need to find bourbon, I guess. Or the equivalent of... I don't know if SAFs adds, like, extra alcohols. I'm presuming it does. Um, but that'd be quite fun. Yeah, no, it's across from the police station. It's just figuring out where I am. It's there, I think. Yeah. I think that's the high fence that goes around the fire station. So if I can get across that, I'm golden. Come on. Insta-kill, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, three. Use the fence, use the fence. Fences are my friends. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> I think it's only half, so I'm only going to be able to die half myself. Pink beard. Well, I've only got stubble, but yeah. <laughs> uh, already a full inventory of just random stuff. Right. Okay, I think Fire Station is probably where we're going to aim to go for the night. Uh, light would be useful. I can hear something. There you go. There you are. Um, favourite zombie movie? Shaun the Dead, probably. <laughs> um, oh, where are you? Come on. Hello, come on. Right. One of you had a leather jacket. Thank you. I will take... Close that. I need to get out of my water bottle. Why don't I even have it on me? Unpack. Right. Finally check in here. Come on. Pipe wrench. And uh, duct tape wood glue. Oh yes, Digital Watch, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That would have been a <laughs> that would have been a worry. Right, 2.30. We've got plenty of time, we've got loads. Oh David the Gnome, I need to come back for you. He's gonna be our friend. Right. Um how many points? Uh, a lot. Quite a lot, basically. Um, well, I don't know, because I had so many negatives, uh, not great. Although, I, dynamic traits, I feel, is a bit unfair, because when you're overweight, you do temporarily get hearty appetite and high thirst, which is horrible. So, that's going to be a little bit concerning. But, yeah. I haven't actually played the Telltale games. I really, I really should have done, but I never did. Um, but then, to be fair, like, uh, Walk, Walking Dead series, I only got to, what was it? Series 4? Series, I think it was like Series 4. Um, I only got halfway through and then, yeah, that was it. But I do need to get back into it, although lots of people said it went downhill, so, yeah, I kind of, uh, I probably left it a good place, to be honest. I would love a potato costume in-game. That would be incredibly fun. <laughs> can I jump over this high rise fence? Please say I can. Hey. It's fine, it's fine. Um, right, we've got three there. Already need to eat something. Kung Pao chicken? Sure. <laughs> okay, we've got like three there. Couple there. It's fine. Save some of that Kung Pao chicken. 
it's so weird playing with the music on. I rarely play with the music on on this. Like, because I normally have my own music. But it's improved so much since, like, when I last had it on. I think there's one episode in my foraging series I had it on. Yeah, very fun. Right. Yeah, already exerted. Hmm. Yeah, we've got a few up there. A uh, few down there. Mobile game. Um, it looks quite simple, but I don't think a mobile game it would run particularly well. I mean, if you simpled it up a lot, yeah, potentially. But you'd have to make it a lot more simple. It it, it looks simple, but it's not. <laughs> So, 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 we've got four, and then potentially jump in. No, it's a diff- I'm- it's like- it's like, uh, me eating potatoes like you eating a mammal. It's- it, it's the same thing. We're related, but, yeah. <laughs> Come on! That's like, that's ridiculous. Annotated map, uh, take it. Yeah, the only reason I'm not running is just because of our ridiculously low fitness. Um, I don't want to get any more exerted. Speaking of which, I should probably be pushing these zombies over when I can. I don't really want to ruin the uh, condition already. So, how many is in front? Oh, well, there's five people. So that's a lot. I like roasted potatoes. Roasted potatoes are good. Some of my favourites. Right. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, thank you so much. Um, just because I was always described as a potato and it's a long running joke from from my school days of me being a potato it's it's a very very long strange strange story yes yeah, a hammer finally right we've got all the basic tools that's good and we got antibody to oh good this is amazing right take and lovely 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 grab one of them what do we need that for? Combined for a real surgeon's kit. Okay. Scissors. We've got everything already. This is amazing. <laughs> it's so strange coming back and um, actually playing in just normal loot. Compared to extremely rare loot mod, what I'm doing on my current series, it's, it's crazy hard. It's ridiculous. I think the only reason I've been able to find anything is because of Hydrocraft adds so much to the loot table. Right, okay, fill up water bottle. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go everything upstairs for now. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here long term, but for now. Yeah. For now, this will definitely be where I'm staying tonight. Oop, there we go. Not yet, I haven't seen an axe in here yet. Just need to make sure there's nothing else in here. I can hear something. Yeah, it was one of the traits I had, which um, I spent one point on, which was it was being prepared. So you, st oh, where did you come from? So you start off with a backpack and some very basic supplies. I will take that in case I need to distract other zombies. Come on. 
yeah, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the whole building and the top floor. I just need to make sure that I clear everything first. This is very dark bit. Nothing in there. It must be banging down on the door downstairs, I guess. Oh, it's a pain something's already detected me in here. Okay. There's a lot of food as well. A lot of food. Nice. Okay, we had about... Was it ten outside? Something like that? Um, Hydrocar's not too bad right now. I, it's, it's working all right. There's a couple of things that aren't particularly straightforward, but I think it's going all right. Right now, anyway. Oh, I think it's here. Yeah, there we go. Right, did I... Oh, I damaged it. Balls. Okay, get decent boots, though. Hello! How's it going? Right, hmm... I've got no idea. I've wanted to do it for a while now. But it's a... Uh... Yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it? <laughs> I had, I've had so many different series ideas and I've had to put most of them on hold for various other reasons. I'm hoping to do... I was hoping to do a few other bits and I was wondering whether I should wait to build 42, but I thought I'd just go for it. Do it now. Nothing in it. Right, I think the building is clear. So that asks... Yeah, fire extinguisher is a good idea. Just in case I decide I'm going to set everything on fire. Oh. Cool. Okay. Right. I think we need to go through everything that we've currently got. And just reassess. I'm sure we've got a lot of extras that we really, really do not need. Right. I'm just going to place that straight here. Uh, eat the rest of the Kung Po. Right, what mods are my favourites? Oh god, that's a, <laughs> that's a long list. Currently, um, it's the Rename Everything mod, because... I just love it. It is the best mod ever. They're going to call him Beery. There we go. Beery. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's so fun. Just but just being able to name everything that you possibly want is great. I just love it. And it especially goes with my hoarder side of things because... Yeah. I can just do whatever I want. And I can have Barry or I can have frogs or plushies and name them whatever. It's amazing. Love it. Right. I need to stop just walking around. I'm getting distracted. Let's go through all our stuff. Make sure that we don't have anything extras. So we need to read these books. First of all, we've also got these empty tin cans. I don't think we need the tin cans, honestly, unless we can use them for a particular. No, we don't need them. Chuck them away. Uh, what else? We've got loads of garbage bags. That's good. We're going to need them. Uh, empty jars, jar lids. Yet yeah, fine. Plastic bags. Yeah, we can use them eventually. Uh, we need to read these. Read that, that's fine. Don't need it. Uh, journal. Mm, fix the flat. Yes, 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 yes. Anything else? We don't need these sneakers. We can always get others. Plastic filter. Obviously, I'm going to take that. Yeah, let's just crouch for the time being. Just in case something from there sees me. Chuck that in there, chuck that in there. Keeps me back in the freezer, I guess. Okay. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Right then. Alright, let's take them. Oh god. Forget being disorganized. This is hard. Already hard. Uh... That's good, though. 
cocktail glass? Sure. Being a hoarder and <laughs> being a hoarder and disorganized is really difficult. Bag of hot dogs, 75 hunger. Nom. Right. Oh, encumbered already. Great. That's everything that we can have. Uh, should we just cook some mutton? Cook some mutton and some pork chops. Sure, why not? <laughs> what do you do during your first day of the apocalypse? We'll just cook some, uh, cook some meat. Sure, why not? Um, okay. What is, I'm presuming our weight is still, oh, we're going down in weight. That's something. We're going to need to get that low very quickly because having the high thirst and hearty appetite is a pain. I know it's, it's not that big a deal, especially with this that we've got quite a lot of food on us, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it's not great. It's just a pain in the ass, especially when you want to go around and do stuff and you're constantly thirsty or constantly hungry. Right. Come on then, speed up. Right, while we're waiting, quickly read these magazines. And then we can chop them down. Chop them down? Drop them down. <laughs> I don't think we need to stock up on calories when we're 10 kilos overweight. I would rather just... Yeah, I'd rather hoard them as much as possible to keep it down. Oh, that's perishable. Let's leave them. What I'm doing is I'm just going to cook it, turn it off, and then I'm going to put it in the uh, freezer, right? Freezer, probably, I guess. And then we can have it. Come on. Lovely. And then we can have it whenever. We can tenderize pork. What can we do with this? Tenderize that. What else can we do with it? Mince it. We need a knife. Built on. Ooh, nice. Okay. Right. In you go. Oh, we got loads of this. Oh, I didn't even check here. Oh, well, more cooking. <laughs> uh, the goal for this playthrough really is to try and get myself to a decent level in things. I mean, look, look at me. This is, this is awful. Oh, something's seen me, damn. Um, basically try and improve myself as much as possible. And then I think we're going to... Uh, basically on a little trip. I think we're going to go see if we can get to... Just to kind of explore the, explore the map try and get to Louisville uh, or Louisville and uh, yeah see how it goes but it's uh, it's just a case of seeing how long I can survive as myself because being this unfit is pretty horrible in game yeah I was a uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not that unfit I, I thought I thought I'll go fairly realistic I mean I think that's a, maybe a little bit high for me I should probably have been a six I guess but I am quite stout as a person so I thought I'll go for that but, yeah, I probably am that unfit, I guess. <laughs> yeah, if I can, maybe I should just become a chef this time round. Just, uh, just cook everything I find. Right, I'm going to need to take out that zombie that's outside. Come on. Right. Let's take the bacon. How long is that? Let's fast forward a little bit. Then there. Get rid of some of that so we know. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're so close to being that. Uh, right, eat some jerky. Um, bear with me one sec, and I will show you what mods I'm using. So, we are going through... Uh, better sorting, auto mechanics, all of this stuff, bushcraft, weapons, tools, drip irrigation. I'm not sure if I meant to add that, but I did. <laughs> uh, Fluffy's hair, pantry packing, some soul filter stuff. Probably shouldn't have that by the look of it. Oh, well, I will change that probably for next time. Uh, the only cure, super carts, water dispenser, vehicle recycling, build menu... Uh, rugged recipes, such with bags, the item tweaker one, loot zeta, true actions, better blah blah blah, a load of vehicle stuff. 
explosive from KI5, and uh, dynamic traits. Yeah, all of that. But I will put a link to it after the stream's ended. Yeah, it's a uh, my 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 computer can just about do this. I mean, it's struggling with my current series where it's uh, Raven Creek Hydrocraft. It's it's pretty pretty challenging doing all them. Right. Okay, I think. Should we go to sleep now? I think we probably should. Right. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Okay, we're sleeping that way, apparently. Fine. <laughs> Come on. Please say the snoring doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. We woke up at half three. That's fine, I guess. Um, right. We don't need that anymore. Check on the floor. Now, I think I did hear a zombie break down the door, most likely downstairs. We're going to want to check that out. We're also going to want to go over to the police station, as a number of you are suggesting, and just take them out. Yeah, Phil does it. Right. I'm going to check the lockers, check these shelves. 1060, 6 gigabytes is my graphics card. Not amazing, but it's what I could afford at the time, and I can't afford to buy a, a better one <laughs> anytime soon. Hey, come on. I want your clothes. There we go. Oh, don't miss. Yay! Close jacket, and boom. Decent. It might as well be, honestly. I built it myself, so it's <laughs> basically it's just a bunch of wires jammed into a potato. Uh, check out the gym. I do have the tr treadmill mod on, I believe. <laughs> we can get our fitness up. Um, can I? Is this is this doing it? I don't know. Use a treadmill. Too heavy to use. Okay, fine. Let's wear it. Oh, we got too much stuff again. Uh, rip that up then. Rip that up. Rip it up. Come on. Okay, we are way too encumbered. We'll go dump some stuff. Oh well, yeah, I mean, I always put off fitness in real life, so I guess the zombie apocalypse is the perfect time to start going to the gym. <laughs> I mean, why not? Let's, uh, let's go to the lockers. Someone suggested lockers are good, and they are good, and it's also out of the way, so let's go. Can I move them? I think I need to have carpentry. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh well. Do we have anything actually in these? Lunch bag. Denim shirt. No. Okay. Hello, hello, how's it going? Right. Um. I'm not going to sort it right now. I'm going to sort stuff out later. <laughs> I'm not going to spend the time sorting stuff out. We need to just dump stuff and we need to go, I think. We need to take care of the zombies that are currently outside. We do not want them breaking down. Yeah. This is the Rosewood Fire Station. Um, the chopper is off by default. However, I do have the expanded helicopter mod on, which adds its all all the helicopters in the world. So I've got that to look forward to. Uh, we should find a telly at some point, like someone suggested, before we go through them, because that would be better. Saying that, I do need to find a telly very quickly. Chuck them away. Need that. Uh, they can go away, they can go away. I will sort this out later, or at some point, I promise. I say that, but you know me. <laughs> It'll probably take a while before I actually get round to it. 
Beery, you can stay with me. You need to stay with me. Beery is a... Uh, Beery is the best medicine. I know. It's a shame I haven't found an axe. It's... It's very frustrating. Right. In there you go. How am I going there? And they can stay in there. And we're good. Right, yeah. I think before we start gymnasts and trying to get our fitness up, I definitely need to take out the zombies outside. I do not want to start fitness, get ridiculously uh, tired, and then suddenly a load of zombies break down. Honestly, I can't remember how many hours I've got in Project Zomboid. It's it's too too many, <laughs> way too many. I think it's I think it's over. Is it like thirteen hundred now? Something like that. Come on, right. This is why the windows are great, as long as they don't come through the broken door. Okay, right. Chuck all the clothes from these on the floor. That would help. Fire extinguish as well. Nice. Quickly peek. Peeky peek. Okay. Um, right, I think we should probably take these ones out before anything else. Can I just attract a few of them? There we go, that'll do. How many? Three. Three will do. Why aren't you stamping? There we go. As long as we take them out bit by bit, it's fine. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to stamp. There. I'll, I don't think I need that, but I'll take it. I could, I could lead them away. The only thing is, like, I don't know where I'd lead them to. I need to go to the police station anyway, unless I lead them that way. Not sure. I think it's probably just easier to take these couple out. And then we can lure the rest away if need be. But there's not too many. It should be alright. Uh, uh, put the boots on the floor. Put that on the floor. Long socks. Come at them later. Right. Here we go. Right, we're going to take this little step back a bit so that I can actually stamp on them. Right, one back. Too many, too many. Sorry, no idea what happened there. Um, anyway... Plus, with the fog, I do not really want to go exploring. Yeah, it's just not worth trying to get multiples. Okay, I can see three. <laughs> F fog will help to... Uh... Yeah, fog will help to distract them, I guess, but... Right. Why right, is the stream... Yeah, the stream was down for a little bit. I've got no idea why. Uh, hopefully it's back to normal. Yeah, I know the police station's just over there. Um, there's a couple of zombies in the way there. There's also a small horde there. I reckon we'll take this one out and then we'll sneak round. This is just a weather event. I've been unlucky that the first two days seem to be, uh... Yeah, seem to be fog. Oh, really? I thought fog did help. Maybe not. Uh, come on. I thought I was in the car. 
<laughs> right. Twine. Twine is good. Right. Well, at least this way we uh, we can level our sneaking a little bit. Yeah, I'm ashamed. it's a shame I didn't find an axe. That's the only thing. I was hoping for an axe so I could use that, but... Pitchfork's fine. <laughs> it does the same thing. <laughs> well, just not nowhere near as good. But at least pitchforks are repairable, to my knowledge. I think it's the only repairable spear you can get. Or oh, unmodded. Okay. Right, gonna go sneaky, sneaky. Get out the water bottle. Don't know why that's still not there. Hey, how's it going? Right, I can see... Some. <laughs> it's very hard to see here. Come on. There. I got one there. I count about five. That's fine. Five is fine. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, this is this is very modded. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of mods in this. Nothing, I don't think, too extreme, but still, it's a there's quite a lot of them. Mostly vehicle mods, to be fair. Okay. Already looks like we've got a shotgun. Please don't break the glass before I get to you. There we go. Ooh. Bullet defense. No, we... No. Not like anyone's going to be shooting us. Although the helicopters can if we last long enough. I have to watch out for that. I'm good. How's it going? How are you? Right, anything in... Ooh, we've got fridge. Fridge, 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 fridge. Paper clips. Two lots. Useful for fishing. Nothing in there. Right, we need to get some zombies in here so we can get the key. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, there's there. Um, although, can we... We can disassemble them as soon as we've got the hammer and everything, so we're all right. I can hear zombies, though. Maybe it's just disassemble the doors. It's pretty quiet in here. I don't really want to disturb a hornet's nest if there's going to be loads in the back room. Hi, thank you. Yeah, it's um, it's my first one on YouTube. I thought I, I did do a couple on Twitch when I uh, covered Hell is Others recently, but I thought I'd uh, have a go on YouTube, see what it's like. This is the first one. This is a, this is my second day. I've just woken up. <laughs> um, there. Oh, it depends how long I live. To be honest, it could be a couple. It could be. A, it could be one. <laughs> we'll see how long I survive as myself. This game does not have flamethrowers. You can get them modded. Um, I know Britta's adds them. Although I've never actually used a Britta's flamethrower, so I don't actually know if it's any good or not. I don't have Britters this series just because uh, without the extremely rare loot mod, it adds a lot of stuff. And I think I like Britters, but I'm not much of a gun nut. If any of you have seen any of the stuff, I, I don't know anything about guns. So I think Britters is kind of wasted on me. There we go. No, you'd only need a hammer by the look of it. I think because they're they're not metal ones. I think if you need, if it's just metal, you need a uh, propane. But these ones, these are fine. Right, got some ammo. Got a pistol, nice. Uh, we don't have a rifle. Got a sling that can be used as a shotgun. I'll take that. That's fine. I think that's it for this place. Get out the pitchfork again. Right, we're good. Chuck it on the floor. Do not need that. Right, should get this on the belt, shouldn't I? Okay. There's nothing else in this place, is there? I don't think so. 
fairly small armory. I will just check this bit out quickly. The watches are in case I need to distract hordes. I can set an alarm and then run away with them. Sounds like there's one in there. Leave that one alone. Yeah, I'll check out the locker rooms. Well, it's been so long since I've been to this police station. I've got no idea where they are. Presumably up here, isn't it? Here we go. But I think there's one right here. No. Oh, maybe not. I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, what's that? Is there any? Is there gonna be any armor in here? Fanny pack. Yay! There we go. <laughs> Please step your jacket. A briefcase. Aviator glasses. Whoop whoop. And what's in that? A sheet of paper. No. Duffel bag. Pick that. Useful. And a nightstick. Better than a screwdriver. Nice. Cool. Not too shabby. Is this just a bathroom or is this another locker? I do not know. I think it is another locker. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Ooh, armor. Uh, again, it's we don't need that, do we? thinking about it, I didn't take the holster, did I? I'm presuming the police officers we killed had holsters. I need to take one of them. Right, I think that's about it for in here, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, seriously, no holsters? No. Okay, well, on my back it goes. Oh, would there be night nightsticks in the desks? Good shout. Go check them. And then we need to check the car park, because I'm presuming there's there's normally some nice cars here. Letter opener, no. Take the matches. Uh, and the eraser, actually. Industrial flooring? Why not? Oh. Okay. Maybe not. Like, this type of door, we'd need a uh, torch to disassemble, but the other ones, I think, are fine. Ah, true, I should have taken a pen. It's a bit late now. I uh, can't get in that one. Lug wrench. Come on. Yeah, it's because there's these. It's because there's zombies trying to get me. A uh, tiny bit of gas. Right. At least we know that we've got a working car, and we've got a gas can. Brilliant. Okay, this has everything in it. The outdoor challenge ended just because. Uh, I think it was basically all that I could do. I. I got to a point where I could just keep surviving for. Forever, basically it wasn't it, it wouldn't have added anything extra to the series so i kind of just said well we'll call it there i could have kept going but at the same time it would have been exactly the same stuff just day after day surviving so i think we got to a good place we built ourselves a little fort i thought i thought that was a good place as any to uh to conclude the series right there we go Lots of gas in here, so that's good. Okay, so we should have a semi semi decent working car. I don't know what the condition is, I need to check it, but it's got trunk capacity. It's it's worth it. Uh, 
Okie dokie. No, the pine filling needs to stay with me. Avocado oil. Why would I need avocado oil on me? Here are that. Right, we need to find a telly. Uh, preferably before the end of the day. <clears throat> and then we can get our skills up a bit. Chuck all that in there. Okay, that'll do. There we go. Lovely. Patch on back. Get that out. That can go in one of the back seats, I guess. I can see nothing. Where am I going? Right. Oh, that was a gunshot meta event. <clears throat> I need to eat something. Let's grab a telly and then I think go deposit what we've got. Ten. Yay. No telly in here. Shame. Here, yeah, what? Too bad. Right. Uh, fence, fence, fence. No, get back, get back. electrical. Okay, we'll leave the car there for a sec. Need to find a working telly. No telly in there. No telly in there. Run, run, run. So if I say your name wrong, do I get a do I get a dislike? <laughs> um, uh, oh, my language is. Uh, what do those things mean? Um, I'm presuming the A is like an R sound. Is the A a short S or a long S? Gabrielle Bach? No, I'm, I'm going to get it wrong, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> right, quickly check in here. Oh, telly. Yay. Oh, we're tired already. Second, and we get a we get a tape. Goody. Uh, first aid. Intelligence. Uh, that one. Good stuff. Good stuff. Dough cutter. That sounds fun. Cool. What was that? A fresh cook. Ooh, someone cooked a steak for me. Lovely. Thank you. And we've got all this mashed potato. <laughs> totally. Got all this stuff. This is all coming with me. I'm 
We need to fill up on water as well. Yep. Why am I getting queasy? Seriously, why am I getting queasy? Hmm. Heavy pain. I don't know why I'm sick, honestly. Um, I think I should probably go. Severe pain. Is that just because I, I overloaded myself? Probably likely. Ah, yeah, that's it. Eating too much. Because I got the sensitive digestion. Yeah, no, that's it. Well done. Okay, need to get back to the car. There. It could be the weather. It could be a sensitive stomach. I think it's most likely sensitive stomach. Okay, I think we're fairly safe. We can also take our gnome friend as well now. Crouchy, crouchy. No, not wounded. It's uh, it's from a perk. It's the it'll most likely be either the weather or it's uh, sense of stomach. Because I ate a whole steak. Apparently, I'm, I've got sense of stomach. Transfer as much as we can into there. There we go. Take this one out. Then gnome friend. Then time to go back. <laughs> uh, take that. Read it on the way. Gnome friend. Gnome friend. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I just need to get rid of the stuffedness. Not quite yet. My my base so far is the uh, Rosewood Fire Station. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll we'll see how it goes from uh, from there. But could go anywhere really. Could just keep going round. Who knows? It could be a bit more nomadic, I guess, if we find a decent enough vehicle. Again. Okay. I haven't actually checked the condition of this car. I'm a little bit worried about engine quality. Or condition, sorry. Um, I think I might have played it way back when, the Rosewood expansion mod. I've definitely played the West Point expansion one. Really liked that. That was good. Uh, Rosewood, I think I might have done. But, hard to remember. Quite a few mods. I, I, I will put a, uh, I'll put a description in at some point. Next episode, there'll definitely be a description. And they'll have all the mods that I've got. Thank you, you two. Come on. Okay. How many? How many? Oh, it's not that bad. Uh, oh, we are overcome. Damn it, David the Gnome. Need to place you somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Come through the window. Oh, that's true. No longer. Oh no, pitch rock broke. Might stick time. Oh, being tired. <laughs> Annotated map, we'll take that as well and have a look at that. Right. Any of you got anything decent? Mm. Take that. I will be coming down and uh, ripping all their clothes up and something at some point. Just need to make sure I'm safe first before I do anything else. There we 
go. Okay, I'll do. So, so, so. Equip that in secondary. Take everything we can out. We can only have 12. <laughs> oh, I forget how bad this organized is. Uh, leave the lug wrench in here, I guess. A bit leather coat. That'll do. Take that, take that. Thank you. Take that. <laughs> Let's get inside. But, there's a few stragglers, but we've cleared pretty much everything, I guess. Outside. Come on, David, we need to go upstairs. Not safe for you down here. Go, go, go. Right. Anything else on these? No. Yeah. Safe for now is now being the, the key word. <laughs> oh, is it? I'm sorry. I've got a silent mouse. I was hoping it wouldn't be picked up, but I would. Okay. Might adjust my mic a little bit. Um, right. Dump our stuff, I guess. Uh, need to put down the telly, first of all. Place the telly, place the telly. Gonna get square eyes, because we're gonna sit on this chair and watch the telly. Oh, apparently on the floor. You wanna watch telly with us? There you go. Hey, how's it going? Thanks. Come on, on the table, please. There. That might be my keyboard, most likely. I've got, um... Yeah, I've got a weird keyboard. <laughs> but it's meant to be silent, but you might hear the occasional thump if I hit a key extra hard. Right. Right, is on. Turn on. Quiet. And hyphen living. Okay, now, 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 now. We need to dump a load of stuff. Read a book, and away we go. All that canned food go away. I oh, can go in there for now. Yeah, in terms of lives, I'm going to see how much I can do. Um, it's not going to be like a set set thing like it normally is with my main channel. It's going to be when I can. I'm hoping this is going to be a continued series, so I'm going to do as much as I can. Um, I still haven't decided whether I'm going to use YouTube directly or Twitch or kind of mix it up, do some of both. Yeah, sure. For next for next episode, there'll be it'll be in the settings. Uh, but it's pretty much normal apocalypse settings but with it's only sub respawn is off uh, it's very high population saliva only and i think an extremely rare loot for everything i think that's all it is really i don't think there's any other changes to my knowledge there might be but i'll, pu I'll put it in the uh, description uh, for the next stream that i do but because i was umming and ahhing and about doing it today and not but i decided to do it kind of last minute but right uh i can't remember what happens today that's read carpentry anyway we can get some xp bonus out of it and if it is carpentry that would be good it might be trapping though i should really know what it is <laughs> day two it could be fishing can't remember Right, a speed time a little long. I think we should be okay. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Damn. <laughs> um, yeah, dynamic trait. I think it's dynamic traits adds in. If you get ridiculously tired, you will automatically go to sleep. Does that mean we missed it? 
It was cooking. We got a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, that was stupid of me. Okay. Completely forgot about that side of things. Oh, I need to be really careful then. I could have killed myself. Okay. Yeah. Um, not good. I don't have the pass out mod installed, so it, it must be that. Um. Hey, how's it going? Right. So, 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 so. I think carpentry. Let's, read, let's just try and read carpentry for now. Um, it should get cooking XP soon. Carpentry hopefully will be at 12 o'clock. We'll be good. Let's fast forward time. We're safe enough. A crouch especially. <laughs> Nothing can see me then. I'd really get sheets for the windows though. There we go. Right. That is cooking up. Yeah, thanks about the denim. I need to rip up all those clothes and I need to find a needle in the thread though if I want to do that. So I will be insulate I will be uh, patching all my clothes and stuff going forward if I uh when if and when I find a needle and thread. But isn't tortellini? Sure. We need to fix up should we should I fix up the garden fork? It is quite good. I probably should repair it if I can. Uh, but our carpentry is awful, so the chance of me doing that are fairly slow. Maybe I should wait till my, ah, uh, yeah, my carpentry is a little bit higher. For now, though, let's read trapping. Cool. Trapping, trapping, trapping. Last word time. Oh dear, right. The fun begins of watching telly and micromanaging what I'm doing with telly. Okay, at least it's carpentry and we did read the books. So that's good. We should hopefully, because we're a fast learner, we might even get to level two if we're lucky. Yeah, I think we might. It's gonna be close. Come on. Yes, there we go. Boom. Brilliant. Um, I have a secondary screen. I'm not quite sure why. I hope I was hoping the chat was gonna be in the top right, but for some reason the chat isn't actually on my screen. So I'm having to look on my secondary screen to actually see it. So I apologize if I do miss some chats. I'll fix that for next uh, for next stream. It's the first time streaming on YouTube, so it's a little bit couple couple of issues, but I'll fix them for next time. Come on, how I got five pages. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep just as soon as I've read this book. There, done. Okay, right. Uh, I'll go to sleep. I'll set an alarm for six o'clock. I've got I've got a couple of scissors, uh, but yeah, if I can find find the needle there, that would be good. If I can go to the salon, that like, is, will there be a needle in the salon? I don't know. Anyway, set an alarm. Okay, go to sleep. Sleepy, sleepy. Thank you. See you later. Ah, excellent. Right. Turn off, turn off. Good. Okay. And watch some TV. Do, 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 do. How's it going, David the Gnome? How's it going? Sit down. Good. Okay. We should probably be reading the other book, thinking about it while we're here. What have we got? Manage our unhappiness? Sure. <laughs> Streamed potato. Okay. I'll keep that one in mind. We could get thread actually from ripping up all these clothes, which I'm going to do. But in the meantime, I need to put all this food away. What am I doing? Why haven't I put any of that away? Freezer, you'll go. 
destroyed not freeze? Probably not. Put the bottle of milk in there as well. Okay. I've got a lot of work to do if I want to. <laughs> I want to actually get this place up and running and me actually safe. Let's quickly check where we are. Yeah, that, that doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Oh, fishing's gone up though, which is nice. Although we need, I, I need to, I need to figure out where I am and what's around me because it's been a long time since I've actually stayed in Rosewood, and I don't think I've ever started a series in Rosewood. No, I haven't. I've only kind of dipped in and out. I've never actually stayed here. All I know is there's a prison and it's awful over there. It's not too bad as like a starting place, but I always prefer Riverside. Riverside's my favourite one. Uh, West Point out push. West Point was the first one I'd ever ever gone to. I just hate Moldra. Moldra's awful. It's just... <laughs> I don't like using the... Well, I, I could use the map, I guess. I just tend to not use the... Uh, use the community map. I don't know. It's... I don't see... It's not cheating, but yeah. I use it as referencing, but I don't tend to have it on all the time. I tend... If I, if I, I might, like, have a quick glance at it, but I tend to just not have it constantly on, just to... It's a little bit of extra challenge, but... That's just me. Some people use it religiously, some people don't at all. It's just one of those things. Right. Okay. Uh, turn that off. We're good. What did we... Le so we leveled up in fishing, that's fine. Uh, trapping, hopefully, is tomorrow. Put that away. Oh, we could fix that up now. We've got the wood glue. 50%. Yeah, that's a lot better. Where are you, Mr. Wood Glue? I did have some somewhere. I know I did. Being blind. Meh. Nah. Right. Anyway. Why are we un why are we anxious? No idea. Let's eat some gummy sharks. Some tasty, tasty gummy sharks. And let's try to go to sleep. We can't. Too tired. Fine. Stop it! Let me walk out the door. There we go. Okay, maybe we'll see if there's any zombies downstairs. We need to move these ones. I could go to the military base, but it's never really worth it. It's just a bit like, you get a couple of weapons and that's about it. It's kind of the same with the prison. They're, they're fun to do, but at the same time, I wouldn't say they're particularly worth it. Let's try and put the zombies in a little pile down here. Um, I think we'll stick to the upstairs for everything. But if we clear the top floor of the couple of zombies that are here, we can then put all the bodies in one one space. And yeah, and then we can take all the clothes apart. Bish bash bosh. Hopefully get our... We might even be able to get our tailoring up. I know it's a really slow skill to grind, but yeah. Here we go. So, rip up clothing. We've got 40. Lovely. Oh, there's zombies outside. <laughs> okay, we'll have to wait for that. Come on. In you come. Quickly check outside to see how many there are. I'm hoping not too many, because we have cleared quite a few of them. The problem is the flies are going to start attracting them when they get too close. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Right, okay. Rip clothing. Go. A little bit dangerous. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. <laughs> Done. And how much did we get from that? Nine thread. Go, go, go. Uh, I need to clean these up. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about you. Uh... No. I need to take that watch, though. Fine. Rip that stuff up. Cool. 
Yeah, I've only got I've I've got, I only got two fitness in this. <laughs> I I know your pain. Not as bad as one though. I've um. I think I I if it had been like a couple of years ago, I probably would have had myself as being more fit, seeing as I uh. Before I had my, well, I didn't have my child, before my wife had my child, um, I used to actually do sport and exercise, but now I'm pretty sedentary as a person. <laughs> right, rip clothing. Need those earbuds as well, actually. Okay. Oh god, that was awful. I tore that lab coat. <laughs> that, was, that was horrendous. Oh, that was a uh, yeah. That was that was that, that was very depressing. Oh well. There we go. Okay. Anything else on this? Rip that. Let's rip all that up. And we should have some them. Um, don't think there's anything else unless, of course. Ooh, hello. gonna wear that I guess I can't rip it out for some reason oh look at that <laughs> it, it, it takes off that so I'm not going to but that that's pretty cool I can rip it why is it that's bizarre the music's changed so I'm gonna go upstairs must be zombies fairly nearby just gonna have to keep a lookout Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. I'm hoping if I come across any jackets or stuff, I'll just drop them straight on the floor. But, uh, for the time being, pack up a hundred of these. Lovely. Chuck all that away. 13 threads. Consolidate all. Boom. Four thread. Nice. Don't worry about anything else. Right, we are very thirsty. Ugh. How, what's our weight? Still going down, but we haven't actually lost anything. Of course not. There we go. Okay, we'll keep... Yeah, we'll keep one in our bag. In case we don't need that directly on us. Right, anyway. Go to sleep. Uh, I need to set an alarm, actually, don't I? So I don't forget. Set an alarm... Oh, I missed it. I missed, I missed the show, didn't I? Oh, that's annoying. Is it five or six? I think it's six. I don't know what the the deep sound is. Not quite sure. Um, there shouldn't be there shouldn't be any other noise apart from me, to be honest. Unless it's my stomach, but it <laughs> should not be my stomach. Um, right, might as well rip that up actually. And secondary. There we go, cook show. I'm looking forward to getting stuck into Saf's kitchen because it looks really cool. Some of the stuff you can make is amazing. I mean, you saw the mashed potatoes and stuff. I mean, it can't get much better than that, surely. Mashed potatoes are the best. And right there. I will sort out my inventory at some point. I, I say this, but it will probably be about 10 episodes down the line before I finally get around to doing it. But see how it goes. I don't know what I can't hear a thump. Um Yeah, not sure. Right. Here are the duff bag, don't need that.
Put them away, put them away. Oh, it could be the music. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the music on fairly quiet just so it's not overpowering, but it does have that sort of thing in it. And when I'm panicked, it might you might hear a heartbeat. That's probably it, to be honest. Yeah, that's the music. <laughs> that's the music, that thud. Yeah, that's the that's the beat of the music. Don't worry, it's I can I mean I can turn it down if you guys want, or I can turn it up. No, it's not the music. Okay, I'm not sure. I'll um I'm really not sure then, because I don't have any other The mic is not wobbling. I'll I'll move it slightly, but no. Shouldn't be wobbling. Yeah. Anyway. Let's eat some tasty bacon. We can take a hot dog from the bun. Well, it seems a bit weird putting hot dog buns in the fridge, but okay. Uh, can we do anything with this? Make a hot dog. Okay, obviously we need a sausage. Fine. Ah. Sorry. That was me hit hitting the mic if that was a boom. Right. Eat the grapes. Eat the hot dog bun just as is because we don't have any sausages. And that's finally go out and do some looting. I, c I still don't know where that wood glue went. Because I definitely picked up wood glue. I put it in the lockers, didn't I? Of course I did. Right. Where are you? There we go. Because I was going to keep everything in the lockers, wasn't I? And then I completely forgot and put it all in the kitchen. Let's go fix up this garden fork. Then we'll go on a little looting spree. See what we can find. Here we go. Wood glue. Repair, wood glue, nice. 50%. Um, I didn't fix it at all. There, that fixed it. And now I don't have enough. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll clip on back. Yeah, I really, I've been, I did a couple of streams on Twitch when I covered a game, Hell is Others, which I really enjoyed. And I'm going to do a little series of it when it's fully out. But I really enjoy just doing streaming. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Uh, I think it's just because it's it's very different editing videos when you have full control over everything and then just doing everything live. Uh, I've, well, historically I've not been the best speaker. I'm, in real life, I've been very shy. I'm not very good at public speaking. So the idea of streaming to lots of people or even anyone was always very, very daunting. Um, but actually, I did it the other day on Twitch. Really, really enjoyed it. So definitely going to be doing more of it on the channel and as time goes by. Right. That. Nice. Okay. I don't know why we're anxious. Thank you. <laughs> um I do making the little I do like making the little narratives and things. Actually my um the latest episode of my main series is gonna be quite fun. The only reason it's not out so far is because it's taking so long to get the story element together because there's a lot of story in and narrative in a, in the next main series. Yeah, it reminded me a bit of Darkwood as well. The the whole kind of horror-esque side of things. I don't think I think Darkwood was a bit more creepy than Hell is Others, and that's not that's in no way a bad thing for either game. I think the aesthetic of Hell is Others is really really nice. Ooh, thank you for the follow. Right, let's put them away. Four empty jars. Pretty good find, actually. And what do we have? What do we have? Sponge new. Ooh, ooh, hello. <laughs> what, did you really need three rifles on you? Did you die from encumbrance? Like, why? Why do you need three? This is day three now. 
I uh, pull this up. Oh, I survived just under three days. One more hour and I'm on my third day. Toothbrush, cannot do anything with that. That's a shame. Right. Okay. Check that kitchen, go upstairs. Oh, thank you for the follow. Very loud for me, that follow thing. I'm not sure if that's loud for you. I'm hoping it's not too bad. If it is, I might need to change it. Ooh, yakisoba. I love yakisoba. Oh, yeah, why, why would I not pick up all three rifles? <laughs> I mean, I'm a hoarder. I don't know what he was. Maybe he was another hoarder. Okay, cool. That would be fun. I'd want to do more stuff live streaming, especially with the server I've got. Um, because I've really not utilised the server properly. I want to do more on it. And do all sorts of stuff and do community events and all sorts. So, going forward, going to be using it a lot more. Right, close umbrella. Nice. Sewing kit. I'll <laughs> find a sewing kit. It's got nothing in it. Great. Um, thank you for the sub. Right. Just disinfect those. We've got sterilized bandages. Too bad. Thank you for the sub. Still haven't found any... Um, Actually, we haven't found any of Pomp stuff yet. <laughs> I'm kind of kind of worried about that. I've got that mod on as well. And if you haven't watched my main series, uh, it adds a, a nice surprise that you can occasionally find on uh, on beds, which tends to be something to do with a My Little Pony and, um, and a jar and a tissue. <laughs> and it's very, very disturbing. Oh, okay. I'm going to walk away now. Yeah, I I would say it's just an empty box if there's no needle or thread. I think uh, I think you're right. We got three. Um, can we put any of this away? The bowl. Put that on the floor. There we go. Too close to a comfort that one. Mm, do I want the compression t shirt? I'm gonna take it anyway. <laughs> this is the normal soundtrack, yeah. It was very close. Yeah, I need to uh I need to watch out for that. I, I was trying to do a little run thing with the with the pitchfork and do that kind of attack, because I've never done it before. But not a good plan to try and uh, try it out. <laughs> when I'm on a, on a zombie that I could die. Uh, the stream will probably go on for another hour and a half, I guess, something like that. I'm going to stop about four o'clock because I need to get ready because I'm... Well, this will be my third series I've currently got on the go because I've got my main one, which I'm not sure how long that's going to go on for anymore. I mean, it's we're kind of getting story-wise to a semi-conclusion, should I say? I mean, it's not going to end anytime soon, but can I shut that? Why can't I shut it? But I've got that one going on. I've also got a multiplayer series going on, which I'm really, really looking forward to getting out there, showing you guys. Uh, we've done about, well, it's six recording, something like that. So that series is going to be really fun. Really looking forward to sharing that with you. And then we're going to have this one, which I'm going to be doing every so often, but this is just going to be live stream. 
So yeah, it's a, quite a lot of juggling. But I've got about after after my main series, I've got well, I'm not sure when to do Logan Stone. I've got season three at some point I've got to do, but I'm not quite sure when to start it. I'm thinking I might try and save it for build 42. I just need to hack before I start it. I don't want to start it before that build because otherwise might have to completely restart the whole series, which wouldn't be good or cut it very short. But, but to be fair, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in with that one as well. When I can, I think is the answer. I need. I haven't got a set schedule because this is my first one. I'm hoping I might be able to do this on a weekly basis, so maybe on like every Saturday. But I'm not 100%. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to uh, put that in stone. It might change. But I, I would say at least a couple of hours every week would be good. If I can, I might try and do it in... um have, Get an extended lunch break from work or something and do it then. Okay, and the other gun. There it goes. Ah! Where are the guns? There we go. Cool, we've got quite a lot of guns already. We've got the shotgun as well, and then we've got the handgun, so <laughs> we're not doing too bad. Ironically, we found more guns here than we did in the police station. Right. We need to find some we need to find some pasta for our meatballs, that'd be good. Thank you, yeah. Uh, schedule's a bit all over the place at the moment, especially with uh I've got full time job and Yeah, child and everything else going on. And every Saturday evening, I, uh, I I tend to do a recording for my multiplayer series, which I'm still in the process of doing. So it's it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, yes, yes. Thank thank you, Holy Emil. <laughs> thank you, Holy Emil. Yeah, I've got um, Discord. If you're interested in Discord, I've got a Discord where we I'm fairly active. I try to be. I've been a little bit inactive recently because I've got lots of personal stuff going on, but I tend to be fairly active. And I announce everything on there, so where, when streams are going to happen, videos, all that, blah, blah, blah. So if you're interested in just having a chat anytime, just head on down to there. Right, let's add this sheet before I forget. Get a little bit of protection. Yay, there we go. The telly is still on. Good, yes. Thank you for the sub. Can I block it with chairs? I didn't think these chairs would block it. I could... We've got these. This... What? <laughs> There's cereal in here. Why is there cereal in there? They've got... Is someone just hiding away the... Uh... Oh, hang on. Is that going to break? 6% chance of breaking here. Yeah, I don't want to risk that. Um, there was a telly in here after all. Why did no one tell me this? <laughs> Oh, I wasted all that time getting a telly and I could have just been watching it on the sofa as well. You know what? You can turn off. You are going on and I'm going to watch it from the sofa. Tune in. There we go. Annoyingly, I can't sit on these, but I can uh, I can crouch on the floor. Sit on the ground. There we go. Now watch the telly. That is true, you can't have enough tellies, but it would be nice to have a little bit different telly. <laughs> if I had a height, like a, a really good one and then I've got a standard one, that'd be quite nice. Wasn't there a glitch where you did that? If you had like hundreds of tellies, you got all the XP, I think very briefly. I remember seeing people do videos on it. Right, annoyingly we don't have the next book, but if we're lucky we might get to Carpentry 3. You can sit on the couch, it's just not at this angle. If I turned it like on this chair, I could sit on this chair, but at this angle you can't. It's only at the two angles where you can actually see yourself, see your face, you can actually sit on. I think they fixed that, didn't they, though? The, the TV's breakable now? I think you can. Um, I know tents used to be unbreakable, but they are... Uh, I think I've, I've seen zombies attack them, so I'm pretty sure they're breakable now. Right. 
We're going to fast forward a little bit. I think that glitch is fixed, so it should be fine. That oh, was the end anyway. Fine. Okay, I will I will put the telly side by side. <laughs> Means I'm gonna have to move David now, and I don't even know if he can face the other way. He's not gonna be able to watch telly. Although saying that, what am I doing? I could just put the chairs the other way. I could do that. There we go, and then I can sit on the sofas. Although, can I pick them up? Ooh, 60% chance to break. I'll just move that one. Yeah, I thought it was fixed. Right. There we go. Chair is down. TV's there. Right. Quickly, David. Quickly. We need you watching the telly. This game is so surreal sometimes. Can I rename you? You, you don't... I, I know you're a gnome. You don't need to be called David the Gnome. There we go. He's just David now. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, keep the them on us. Cyril can go away. That can go away. Okay. I think it's going all right. I think we're uh, we're doing pretty well. Although, where should we go to next? Yes, the gnome formerly known as David. Right, okay. Let's quickly check the map. We could head up to the main high street. I think that's probably a good start. If we start clearing that, yeah, like pharmacy, we'll just slowly head up the main street. <laughs> I wonder why you like the name David, David. Um, oh, actually, what? Do I need electrical skill to move these? No, I don't. <gasps> oh, before anything else, then. Get this upstairs. Sorry, yep, yeah, I will put it up here. So, lots of these skills are new from modded stuff. So, we've got, like, se sensitive digestion. We've got weather sensitive. Uh, so, basically, if I eat too much, I get in pain and nausea. Uh, weather sensitive, if it's thunder and stuff, I get headaches, that sort of thing. At uh, Hoarder, Scrounger, Pack Mule, but we're disorganized, so we can carry a lot in our main inventory, but capacity for various other stuff is not great. Anyway, put this back here, I guess. We don't really want it to be next to the windows. Mm, where should we put it? This corner? No. Uh, oh, this is difficult. Put it here. Dynamic Tricks is really, really fun. You can do a lot with it. And, um, I mean, this I do have a couple of different... There is um there is an extra trait mod as well, which I cannot remember the name of the life of me. I think it's... There's more traits, dynamic traits, and there's another one which I've added as well, which is compatible with them. Um, but I will, for next episode, I'll have it all in the description. I just didn't have time to sort out a mod collection before the episode started. But... There's a there's a lot going on here, but hopefully once we get down to 85 and we don't get overweight anymore, we will lose high thirst and we'll lose hearty appetite, and we'll be okay. Yeah, no errors. There's no errors at all in this mod pack. Right. Okie dokie. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't, I don't tend to like playing on uh, packs that have errors. I mean, if, if there's like one at startup and it and it doesn't repeat itself, that's fine. Um, but if there's like repeating ones, it really, really bugs me. Yeah, it's going to be saved on the channel. I'll also try and download it and pull it on my VODs channel as well. But I am recording at the same time, so it will, it will go up on the channel. But this one won't be, it won't be an edited series. It will just be a live stream one. Um, but yeah. I'm exerted already. Now, I think I can attack them through the fence. I can. Good. Okay. Right, let's go rest up then. And then I think we'll make a little push up a little bit further. I think the next one up is the community hall, if I remember correctly. 
So we'll see if we can clear up to there, at least. Industrial flooring. I'll pick it up in a minute. Right, let's rest up. Yes, that error type zombie was a, <laughs> that was a strange one. There we go. A little bit hungry. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, we've only got the pan and pie filling. Ooh, cherry flavour. The mod is... Sorry, I should have said that. Where is it? Impro improvised flooring. So basically it means that you can make any flooring from, I believe, I think believe it's just the vanilla game, but it means you can make like the uh, mall type flooring, or you can make the cinema flooring. It's pretty cool. But you do have to have fairly high skills to be able to do so. So it's not it's not like it's a cheaty mod really. It's uh, you do have I think for some of it you have to have like six carpentry, seven carpentry, something like that. Yeah, it is really fun. You need paint and stuff to make them as well. So it is it's it is good. Alright, five. Oh. Hello. Okay, we're gonna ignore those ones. <laughs> yeah, kinda like morph builds, that sort of thing. That's it, courthouse. I wasn't sure if it was a like community centre or courthouse, but it's courthouse. Um, right. The electric skill. Yay, spears have gone up. Finally. Cool. Okay. Ooh. We've still got quite a lot to go. Why is the music... Okay. Nothing following me, but apparently it's changed. Okay. Yeah, Court of Justice. Yeah, clearing the main street might not be the easiest thing in the world. There seems to be a lot of them. It's broken already. Yeah, this is Rosewood. Right, that does not last long. Take that. Uh, holster, finally. Hmm. There's one of them has a biker helmet. On that bike helmet. No, I've got, I've got the fireman's helmet. <laughs> I don't need another one. Oh, sneaking's gone up. Oh, I love having fast learner. It's like the best skill to have. Like, if, you, if, if I can only have one skill, it's just that. It's so, so useful in this. Okay. Right. Sneaky, sneaky. Nothing's following me. No, good. Sneaky. Quickly have a scout out of the bank. Yeah, okay. Well, I've got both in this. I've got keen hearing as well, so <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Honestly, though, I picked it because I do pick up stuff very, very quickly, and also I've got very good hearing, so if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have them in this. Uh, military sweater, scratch, I'll take it. Um, right now, chilling, but it will be kind of exploring. Probably try and get to Louisville eventually. See how far we get, really. Honestly, not sure how long we're going to live, so be interesting to work that out first before we kind of set any goals. Getting tired already. Nope, nope. Come on, why don't you die or fall? Either way. There we go. Oh, too many. Too many. <laughs> How many? Six. Okay. If we had the fence, it would be fine, but... 
chuck that way. You disappoint me. <laughs> you killed barely any of them. Okay. Try and lose a couple of them. I don't really want to attract the hordes over here by fighting them here. Otherwise I'll get stuck. Try and... I just wanted the shotgun, really. I think it's a shotgun he's got. But we're going to miss our show at this rate. Come on. Okay, a couple of them have stopped. Yeah. It's a bit close. Um, we'll take out these two, though. Two should be fine. Basically, lure, try and lure a little bit away so I could break them in half. That's all I was trying to do. But I've taken out two, so now when I actually go back in the morning, it'll be much easier. I'm going to try and jump that fence. Here we go. <laughs> I've got a couple of butter knives. I can give it a go. But it's, uh, yeah, maybe I should give it a go. What is our... Ah, see you later. Have a good one. Yeah, I suppose a bus knife does quite go well with potato, doesn't it? Well, we got to get to our show. I'm going to take that one just in case. Always nice to have a spare screwdriver. Ooh, and military boots. Come on. I'm going to miss it. Show with David. No! Ouch a bit. Right, they're both on. Need to check they're both on. Yay! Oh, it's glorious. <laughs> I don't have that mod that enables you to have items for weapons, any item. I've got one... I believe I've got the one uh, that Soul Filter uses, so you can use different items. So you can use a pillow as a weapon, I believe. I think I've got that one. But, um, I need to check that, actually. If I don't have it, I'll install it for next episode, because I do want to use a pillow as a weapon. It, it's surprisingly good. <laughs> Here we go. So are we learning trapping? Are we learning foraging? What are we doing? I think it's foraging. Turn it up. It's going to be foraging. Yeah, we just get a telly each. David gets one, I get one. That's just how it works. Right, I'm just going to force forward it a little bit. Why am I learning? Did I learn nothing from that? That was bizarre. Okay, that was weird. Whatever. Right. Let's go sleep. So, do you, what do you reckon I should do? Do you reckon I should try and clear the main street, or should I go through the residential area? I think residential might be a little bit easier. Shut that door. Let's quickly check the map. So... Yeah, so it looks... So from what... Uh, oh, the comment's gone now. Uh... Someone mentioned that I think it's three, they said three commercial buildings and then the pharmacy. So the pharmacy will be about here. So we could just go through the residential. Yeah, I think that might be safer. Right. Finish our cherry pie filling. I'm looking forward to the next one. The next one's peach, I think. Yeah, peach. Nice. Right, uh, rip that up. And all that can go away. Right, let's go sleep. Sleepy sleeps. Oh, it's really early. Okay, well, we can sort our inventory. That's fine. We need to wear this holster. I forgot about that. Nice. No, wear it. Wear the holster. Yay, there we go. Cool. Put everything away. 
let's read the uh is it Louisville or Louisville? I, I don't know. I, I've been saying I've been saying Louisville, but it could be either way. Yeah, I know I say yay. <laughs> I uh It's probably really jarring for some people, but I find it funny. Right. Louisville. Yeah. I thought it was Louisville, but some people say Louisville. Oh, I wasn't quite sure. Read map. Oh, we got Riverside as well. Well, I already knew that. That's... Okay. I think we're going to have to abandon the Garden Fork. Uh, we don't need both of them either. So, I think that's not a bad start. We should probably take some perishables rather than non-perishables. We've got plenty of perishables to be using. Oh, I see. Is that how it works? Okay. Can we do anything with strawberry milk? We can't. Let's just drink the strawberry milk. That'd be fun. Got the pepper as well. We could dice the pepper if we find a knife. We still haven't got a knife. Uh, put them in the freezer. Get the mashed potato out. We can have that once it's defrosted. Right, how heavy is that? Only four. We go on the running machine while it's early. I mean, three o'clock in the morning seems like a good time as any. Where is the light for this room? There it is. Hey, there we go. Right. Go for a run. Three o'clock in the morning run. Use a treadmill. Can we use the treadmill? Yay, there we go. <laughs> Let's have a look. I've never actually used this. I've always wanted to. I've had it in mod packs for quite a long time, but I've never been able to actually find a working one. Three, two, three. Now, I've read apparently if you have this and you have lots of stuff in your inventory, it also raises your strength. I'm interested to see how that works. Anyway, let's just fast forward. Okay, we're getting 300 fitness. That's not too bad. Really. It could be better, but. Oh, it's over 50%. Cool. Right. We should be able to sleep a little bit more then. Get into the morning. Then we'll go through the residential. See if we can get to the pharmacy. The other bits. We need a better weapon. I could try and go for spears as my main weapon. Uh, I tend to go for long blunt. But we'll see how it goes. But I don't think a nightstick is really going to cut it. We'll just rest up and hopefully we'll be able to sleep. Nope, still not. Fine. Keep resting. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, 300... I was expecting more, so I was 300 XP isn't amazing. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. Especially when it's like... You have to they're quite rare anyway, and you have to actually find one, and then you have to have power running. I was I was hoping for better. Right. Round front. Strawberry milk for breakfast. Take the pepper with us. I am using it. Heli helicopter expand events is, is on this. It's uh, it's it's gonna happen eventually, and then I'm screwed. So, <laughs> I uh, I need to watch out for that. But no, helicopter expanded is definitely in this. Oh, yeah, missed the show. <laughs> okay, should I? I'll I'll watch the twelve o'clock show. Then we'll go out. That seems like a plan. Oh yeah, how's it going? Let's see if we can do anything else then while we're waiting. So that's. I read both of them, didn't I? Yeah. Put them away. Um, any other books or something we can... Let's have a little look at that one. Read map. That was River... Oh, that was one we've watched. Fine. We've got an hour before our show starts. I mean, I could just 
maybe I should just go through the residential and find a telly while I'm there. Let's do that. It's, we're wasting time. Eat the pepper. We'll just jump into a house when we get there and uh, watch the telly there. No, Helicopter Expanded um, mod adds, like, multiple helicopters. And it happens throughout time, so they'll just be hovering over you and stuff. And later game, you can have ones that, like, try and shoot at you. You have Samaritan ones that drop, like, um, food and things for you. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's... Helicopter Span is a double-edged sword. It can be really, really good for your character, but it can also be absolutely devastating. Yeah, exactly. Supply drops are really, really good for characters, especially when you've got, like, rare loot or you're struggling. But, at the same time, if you have ones that call in, uh, call in sirens or police ones... Yeah, exactly. Been shot to death. So it it can uh, <laughs> it can end quite badly. Take that one. Ooh, hello, what was that? Candy cigarettes, right. Don't need another can opener. Ooh, some crisps and beer. Uh, bleach. I'm going to take a couple more of these dish towels. Dish towels, especially like bath towels, they've saved my life a couple of times, especially when it comes to um, like colds and stuff. Because they, because fevers can be absolutely devastating. And uh, take them extra bandages. Yeah, it's always it's always good to have a towel. You should always take a towel with you wherever. I used to, on one run I did my personal one. I just carried a bath towel for luck, just from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But it's they are surprisingly good items. Aiming skill fast. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> Our first pony. Oh, we've got... Oh. Condition on that key tile is not great. Might take the base. Oh, no. Uh, we need to find, no, we need to find a telly. Ah! I forgot the reason what I was doing. Quickly. Uh, turn it right down. There. There we go. Beer can as well. Beer cans are good. Okay, we're good. Yeah, sorry, this is my first actual stream on YouTube, so I haven't really set anything else up, and I kind of did this as a spur of the moment. I've been wanting to do it for a little while, and I just thought, you know what, Oscar's going to do it now. Um, but I will set up everything properly for next time, just to... Because <laughs> it's not it's not very well set up so far, but it, it will be. I don't know if I'm going to do it on a regular basis. I don't know how. I'm going to try and fit it in so I can do it at least, like, once a week. But we'll see. Uh, Pomps mods adds the pony stuff. It also adds a bunch of other things, but the ponies are one of the big things it adds. That is Carpentry 3. Right, till next time. Good. Right. Keep going. Let's go pick up that pony. Save it from... <laughs> from its awful fate and they're actually quite good items so the i'll i'll quickly show you i need to give it a wash first but if i pick it up who's from around the world Ooh, good to know now i need to go on the floor there there we go so it if you play with it it reduces your boredom stress and unhappiness which is pretty cool so we're going to take you. We're going to take the jar and the lid. Excellent. Uh, we're going to leave the tissue. <laughs> Don't want to pick that up. Oh, it looks like painkillers as well. And tweezers. Right, nice. Fill up all them. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is with that... with um, I'm going to wash myself now. There we go. And the thing is with that pony thing on the bed that was a requested aspect of the mod that wasn't just him doing it that was a requested mod <laughs> that
that was a re requested event for the mod. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm amazed that people requested that, to be honest. Right. Wash ourselves. Lovely. Wash the blood away from ourselves. Okay, not much in here. Uh, no, we, do, we don't need all that. Let's keep going. A couple of garages and stuff. There's a zombie out there. They've, like, all noticed me anyway. <laughs> we need to find a Jenny mod, uh, a Jenny mag as well. I need to unlock up one of them. Nice, right. Did that one noticed me? Yeah, of course it did. bad. I was tempted by the Cabin of the Woods thing um, as a part of the playthrough, but to be honest, I've done a lot of that. Like, I did the, yeah, I am, Autosar trailers is, is added. I could, I could do a Cabin in the Woods, but I did my foraging series where I kind of had that little cabin out there in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's not in the middle of nowhere, it was on a road, but it's there. Um, I've also done it in a few on multiplayer a couple of times, and so I'm a bit like, mm, I don't know. Stop trying to kill me! So, yeah, not overly fussed about doing that again, but I could do. It's one of the things I think I would I would do, actually, if I, if it was, um, if it was actually me, like, I meant to be me, I would probably go to like as secluded area as possible and then just kind of set up a base there. So maybe I will do it. That's a good plan. Rooftop base, Louisville. Louisville. Sounds good. Right. Um, I'm going to go around the back. Hoping there's not too many zombies around the back. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. That's true, there is that military barracks as well I could go to. Okay. Got a cowboy hat. Sneaky, sneaky, and stampy, stampy. Cowboy hat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. Ah, no. Uh, that's a lot more than I was hoping. Okay. Nope. Nope, not doing that. Okay, we'll try and utilize the fence. Luckily, there's lots of fences, so we're fine. And back again. Come on, then. Oh, too many longer. No, bad. Bad. <laughs> yeah, all the bronies are out to get me now. Okay, right. Oh, they're all jumping over at the same time.
Uh, no. One of them's carrying something. I think it's like a, a clump of flesh. A little bit disturbing. No, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's too much. Too much. I'm, I'm being stupid. Getting cocky. This, this, uh, technique is getting me nowhere. stupid stop it right enough enough push my luck as much as it is Get our line of sight. Jump into a house. Actually, jump through this window if we can. No, too much. There. Good. Foraging too, we need that. Emotional intelligence. Probably probably could do with that. <laughs> okay, let's crouch, check out the kitchen. Wonton wrappers? Okay. Oh, the game's definitely worth it. For like twenty dollars, yeah. Really worth it. Two lots of cheese. Oh, can't fit. Okay. Uh, cheese and chicken in my fanny pack? <laughs> oh, putting raw chicken with cheese, that's delightful. Oh, I'll, put, I'll put a magazine in there as well, screw it. <laughs> Just add everything in there. Yeah, foraging is needed for the cabin, so might as well. Good cooking, I've already got that one. I've already got nearly as much as me, and I've had the game for ages. And I do all these series. <laughs> I think when I first did my my first Logan Stone series, I think I was only on about 350 hours. I had had the game for ages, but I I had it way before even vehicles were a thing. Um, so I got I kept getting frustrated because I couldn't do anything, so I ended up stopping and starting quite a lot. But yeah, no gun case, nothing in it. Gloves, gloves are useful. Okay. Right. I think we're going to have to rest up here. And then we're going to have to attempt to get back over that fence. It's not that far. Let's have a quick look at the map. Right. Yeah. So we need to get, like, here. There was just too many. If I had a better weapon, it would be fine. But this nightstick, I'm presuming it's not going to last much longer. Oh, no, we still got quite a lot of condition on it. Right, let's rest up. I'm doing good. Yeah, really good. Oh, a bit tired. Didn't sleep much. Sleep much last night. Do that. There we go. The joys of having a nearly three-year-old keeps you up all night. Let's remove these curtains as well. Get some sheets. We're fine. Um, a, a lot of mods, mostly vehicle mods, but I'm using the like the trailer mod. I'm using Saf's kitchen. Um, uh, helicopters expanded should be in there. A, a lot. I will. Um, the next episode there will be a mod list.
Right, I'll leave that house. Please have no zombies there. Good. Okay, we're fine. Okay. I never got into Neo Scavenger. I wish I could. I I did play it, and I've got it on I've got it on Steam. I played played a few hours into it, and I did one run that I was really pleased with, and then I just died stupidly. I would I would say a baby potato. <laughs> I would say it's still a baby potato. Okay, here we go. So, 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 so. Um, in Moldra, um, there's a fairly good base just to the east of it, which has got high-rise fence all around the outside. That's not too bad, and it's still pretty close to town. Oh, you could do the... You could go for the McCoy's Logging Place. That's quite a good place to go for Moldra. Um... Just down the road from Mulder, if you go west, or east, it's the house in the east, not west, what we're talking about. If you go west, there's a bunch of houses that are really close, they're on the main road, so you can, like, kind of near Ponyo Rome. That's not a bad place. Ugh! No, 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 no! Missing stuff. I'm sorry, David, I nearly missed it. There we go. Right. Well, we uh, it's not the not the best looting at all. We didn't get to where we wanted to. But we got some sheets. Got a little bit more food. Have to go again soon. Might need to do like a longer longer way round, I guess. All right. Sit down. Let's quickly have a look at the map. So I guess we could try and go behind like the police station. Go up that way. Residential I could do, but I think with the nightstick, it might not be the easiest thing in the world to try and clear all those zombies. I could lure them away. I could actually utilize the alarm clocks that I've got, or the, the watches I've got. Oh, I, could, I can read that. Okay, good. I can read that now. I don't think I'm going to get any XP bonus from doing it, but might as well. Let's just fast forward. No, didn't get anything. But I'll read it for next time. Right, and we've got this. So, foods around the world. We can cook risotto, tortellini, ravioli. Nice. Okay, might as well read that. We've got this cheese wonton wrappers. I've got no idea. There's lots of stuff in this. Need to read that as well. And then we might as well read that. Okay, just fast forward. No, they don't stack. It's just... It was requested, so I decided... To do it. One for me and uh, one for David the gnome. Right, I need to watch out. Once we get Radixi tired, then we will collapse. Okay, let's put them down. Um, put these down. I believe that's the more traits mod. I'm not 100% though. It might be dynamics. One of them. But it's all about, like, kind of anger and stuff management, so it's to counteract some of the traits it adds in that. So I think it's like, if for dynamic traits, if you read all of the emotional intelligence, I think it, um, it counteracts one of the traits you can get, which makes you struggle, so it gives you extra stress, or it gives you angry and stuff. I think if you read all of those books, it will kind of negate that trait. Anyway. Right. Eat this bowl of mashed potatoes. Tasty, tasty. 93 and going down. Good. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, David's the real protagonist. I'm just protecting him. <laughs> There's a yeah, I'm just I'm just a bystander in this. 
Right, we'll take the cucumber. Uh, take the carrot. Cheese can... Let's freeze the cheese. Sure. Get rid of them, get rid of them. Beery, you're staying with me. I think... Oh, who, who, can, who can give out the... Ch we can't forget the chicken in, <laughs> in our fanny pack. God forbid if we forget that. I think Dave... Uh, the thing is, I would take David along with me, but he's pretty heavy. I mean, like in my main series with, like, Barry and stuff, he weighs, like, 0 0.1. Bar uh, yeah, he weighs 4. David's heavy. <laughs> um, he's he's just protecting the base. I think he's... We'll, we'll take him with us if we go anywhere long term, but I think every day, every day runs, I think uh, he's probably better placed here. Okay, add sheets. Those curtains. Cool. Uh, let's just... Oh, and go to the telly. Go to the telly. Not missing another cooking show. There, there we go. Right, read that. Fast forward. Hey, there we go. Go and go. This is life, isn't it, David? <laughs> yeah, but would you like to be carried around in my backpack all day? I... <laughs> oh, the sound is weird when it's got two teddies going on. Sit down. There we go. Right, cooking two. All good. I don't know why we're still anxious. I don't really know why we're stressed. Uh, it's probably one of the traits I've got. Eat a carrot and the cucumber. Nice, healthy breakfast of carrots and cucumbers. Breakfast of kings. Oh, um, I can just stay on the floor. Didn't mean to take that with us. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's the aim of the series. Just collect as many tellies as we can as we can and just put them all in the living room. Oh, is it foggy again? Like, how long have we been alive? Five days. And it we've we've it's been foggy for three. Okay. Right. Should we try and push up the main street again? Guess we've got nothing nothing else to do at this point. I think you can destroy tellies now. Might be wrong. But I think um, I think zombies can target them. They never used to be able to. They used to be indestructible. But I think that's been changed. Because I know the tent... The, when you could do tents, that's been fixed, definitely. So... I think there might be a couple of... Um, a couple of bits that haven't been fixed. I think stuff like... I don't know, there's still a couple of bits of furniture, I think. I just can't think of them on top of my head. But there's definitely at least a couple that can still get away with making fences out of. But that'll likely change in the next update. If your power goes off within the first week, or the first ten days, or however long it is that the uh, TV shows run, then yes, if you get a Jenny and power it, the TV shows will still go, to my knowledge. But... Ooh, light-footed. Cool. But yeah, if it's been ten days or... Oh, that's a big horde. <laughs> oh, I can't win. Okay. Jump, you jump. I could run past them, but the problem is my fitness is so low. I'm worried that if I run, I'm just going to get, like, ridiculously exerted straight away. 
in that sense, I shouldn't be sneaking. But, um, yeah, I, I've only got like one run in me, I think. As soon as I run for more than like a couple hundred meters, I'll probably be exhausted. <laughs> so I don't think it's a good idea just to run for it. I think we just need to try and take them out bit by bit, work our way up is probably the best way to do it. Yeah, I would think cubicles. How heavy are cubicles? Can you pick them up? They would work pretty well as cover. Okay, we're getting up to where we left the last little, little horde. I am hungry. Eat some chips. Crisps. Crispy chips. Cars do work, but they can go under cars. So, yeah, you have to watch out for that. sake. <laughs> I go to stamp on him and it just doesn't work. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're fine. They are, they are crisps, but Americans call them chips. Ah, fair enough. Okay. Uh, ooh. Watch. Ah! Watchy watch. Take the watch. Okay, we finally got to this top house. Which was originally full of zombies. I'm going to need to keep my eyes peeled to see if there's any more in here. Mop. Nope. mine. <laughs> Almond milk. Wild garlic. Oh, what, I, wild garlic bread. I thought it was just like, here's some wild garlic bread. <laughs> Ooh, dino nuggets. Okay. Taking all this. Ooh, an MRE. Oh, we're getting loads of stuff here. But we're already tired and it's nine o'clock. This is why this is why my character's so bad and so unfit. Um, this is probably why I wouldn't survive the zombie apocalypse in real life. <laughs> yeah, I think especially after quite a few people did videos on them and highlights about because I know Nurse did one, didn't she, about the TVs and stuff. It's like, yeah, it's, it's it, ne it needed doing. Ooh. Oh, full condition as well. Nice. They're, they're potentially. What, what would they have been almond milk? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not commercialized, but. Oh, that. Oh. Come on. Um. I'll right, put that there. I'll sleep in this bedroom, I think. Question for So you collect tons of toys in game, yet in the narrative you make fun of toy collection, then proceed to collect more toys as a new character. Um well, this is this is me as a character, so yeah, I, I would collect the toys. In the narrative in like my main series, I, I think it's that she pro uh, L probably wouldn't be collecting the toys as is, but 
it's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of me pushing myself onto the characters i guess really i shouldn't be collecting anything in my main series but i i can't really help myself it's quite hard to avoid for, for me to stop doing that i guess um but really i <laughs> i uh I, I would be collecting everything and anything right soap Yeah, I think books in the long term will save my sanity, so they're, they're good to have, but they're still fairly close by, so I can always come back and get them. But I wouldn't class them as, like, urgently needed. Um, although saying that, I think half the stuff I'm picking up is not urgently needed. A cat toy is not urgently needed, is it? Right, um, we need to go to sleep. Weirdly, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, apparently we need to sleep. Although, is there a telly? We could... Grab one, put it upstairs. Set an alarm. That might help. Yeah, there is a telly. Good. Right, you're coming upstairs with me. Yeah, I need to grab some water as well. Good shout. Uh, fill up. Oh, empty bottle. Okay. Nice. Pop that there. Down. Fight for living. Tune in. Nice. Okay. Let's have a little bit of sleep. Before we push on. Uh, set alarm. Right. Sleep. Okay, all good. Okay, that's probably helped a little bit. We're probably going to have a ton of zombies incoming at some point. What can we do with almond milk? It's probably exactly the same as normal milk, isn't it, in terms of recipes? Yeah, we can make a black Russian. Oh no, white Russian, sorry. We can make a black Russian this anyway. Right, you're watching Woodcraft. Good. Right, drink the almond milk. Let's get rid of it. It seems to be a contentious issue with lots of you, so I'm just going to drink it, get rid of it. It never existed. Maybe they had it in 1993, maybe they didn't. Who knows? Uh, unhappiness. Oh, what's our what's our weight before I push? Yeah, eat this. Um, it depends on my character and how invested I am in them. Honestly, if I if I survive for if I make a new world and my character like dies after like I've had them for like a day, like I, I have a bad spawn or something, I get overrun, then I will carry on the same world. If I've been like playing the character for like six months and I die, new world. I, I can't just continue. It's just to me it then seems cheaty if I get a new character and then go to the old base. I know it's not, and I lo lo lots of people do it, but it's just the way I get invested in a character. Right, that's just... Oh, till next time. Done. Okay. Get rid of them, get rid of them. Hey, how's it going? Right. Oh, I didn't realise we even picked up a pear. Eat the pear. Right, we need to figure out where it's still foggy. Quickly just jump into here. <laughs> a little bit cheaty, but it's fine. So we've got... That's a church. We've got Zippy Marts. And I think the health center's there. That's legal services. I think it's one up further there. So we're basically here. So we need to go and have a look. See how far we can get. The problem is just because we're on very high population, it's how many zombies are going to be in the center. I know Rosewood's fairly tame for population, but... Where are you? Where are you? There. Okay. Body in the road. 
Handful of zombies there. We got the main street. I guess. Alright, cheers. See you later. Let's try and sneak. Do a little bit of a, a bit of a run. How many are following? Two. Alright, fine. Oh, uh, three. Um. good all is good crouch again we're fine we're fine we're safe well we're not safe <laughs> but we're safe for now okay we count one there two there one coming from the north there's a leather jacket on that one that'd be nice to have I don't know if there's something behind me. Yeah. We're gonna get tired in a minute as well. We only slept for like two hours. Uh, put that on the floor. Yeah, we're fine. Um, do we have time to deconstruct it? Probably not. Check out Ladaniva. Is this Ladaniva? Pretty sure it is. Ooh, nice. Run back. Ooh, here we go. Get some tarp. Make a tent. Okay, we could hop the fence and get into the gated district up there. Looks like a caravan. Okay. Alright, got zippies. Okay, I think this is the salon. Yeah, uh, fortune there. And then fine. Right. Oh god, there's quite a few in here. Leave that for now. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Directly below me. Ooh, meat cleaver. Yep. Take that, take that. Mozzarella cheese. I, I mean, I'm not going to pass up cheese. Oh, so much food. Take the light stuff. We can't justify anything else right now. No! <laughs> uh, ooh, another one. Right, we'll take that. And vitamins. Another pony. Which one's this one? Ugh, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Mister Pony. 
Get them all. God, I don't even know how many there are. There's so many, it's ridiculous. Okay, we're fine. Uh, wonton wrappers. Lemon juice. No, I'm alright. I can hear one really close. I think it might be in the lounge or the bedroom, whatever that is. Ooh! Mechanics book. Good. Uh, tailoring one as well is going to be useful. The jar will be washed. Do not worry. <laughs> right. I think we... We should definitely take these two. I'm a bit worried how much capacity we've got. Read that one. And read that one. Uh, read... Oh, we've already read that. Good. Okay, get rid of it, get rid of it. Read that. <laughs> yeah, we'll just give David the ponies, see what he makes of them. <laughs> David, David would never sink so low to do to be like that. No. I've got a little beard going on now, apparently. Cool. Right. I'm a bit worried. I think we might need to get out of here fairly soon. We'll, we'll ch finish checking the ones up here, and then I think we need to go back. I'm taking the coffee. Oven. Do we need, do we do anything with this? No. Ooh, a big spiffo and a mouse trap and thread. Okay, all good stuff. Hello, police. You're the pony police, probably. All right, bulletproof vest, full condition, nice. David does deserve the finest of ponies. <laughs> uh, satchel. Ooh, satchel with bags. So we can wear that as well as our backpack. Two gun cases. Okay, only a box of rounds, but we do have a rifle for that. Fairly good. And a sleeping bag. Oh, we're going to be over capacity. Yep. Yeah. Okay, but at least we can fit lots of this in the satchel. Hopefully we'll... Yeah, we're, we're not overcome. Good. Oh, no, this is definitely me. <laughs> this is this is me. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I think most of my characters end up being me towards the end anyway. I think Logan was pretty much me towards the end, although he was a lot more hardcore than me. I, I could never be Logan. Caviar? Uh, sure. <laughs> Caviar during the apocalypse, that's uh that's a whole new level, that is. Emery Oh, we're overcome. <laughs> um if if you want to think that that's where the ponies come from, sure. We've got pasta, we can make pasta and meatballs. We I don't think we've got any tomato sauce though. The only thing, and we are very income. Okay, complete fishing guide. We've already read. Read that one. Um, it's basically ooh, and a crowbar. Oh, thank goodness. Um, it's a satchel with bags mod, which basically means you can wear satchels at the same time as as your backpack. So it works quite well. It's not as efficient as if you just had it on your back on its own, but it still works pretty well. Okay. The problem I've got is I've got too much stuff. Living up to my name as a hoarder right now. Hmm. Right, read that one. Okay. 
We've got too much stuff. We need to get out of here. We've got way too much stuff on us. Complete electrics. Uh, what is our... What's our, ma our maintenance is still one. We need to remember that's here, though. We've also got another DV another VHS. I nearly said DVD. Oh, this is where being a hoarder isn't good. Um... We'd eat the wild garlic bread, which I just still find hilarious. That's a good point. Yes, thank you. Thank you for reminding me about the map. Uh, uh, books. Good to know. Okay. Right, I'm quickly going to check the last one. I know we don't have like much time left or any space but if we can find another bag oh there's too much good stuff if we can find another bag we can easily carry everything and it won't be a problem or we could take the gun case oh and oh here we go i'm glad i came we got another another one another mag but which one's that performance that's sport okay Right, we've got Noisemaker. Read it. And Boredom Management. <laughs> oh, everything. Okay. Need to get some more water. Yeah, the problem is just I don't... I'm fairly safe here. And I think as soon as I step outside, there's going to be hundreds of them. So I think what I should do is sleep before I go outside again, because chances are I'm going to be in I'm going to be in trouble as soon as I step outside. How much space in there? Barely anything. Put them away. Bottle of cola. Cuba Libre. We need rum. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I know I need that. I know I need um, the coffee grinder. It was one of the things I was going to pick up. But I was hoping to find a... Oh, I can put it in there anyway. I was hoping to find a bag. Marshmallows. Anything in here? Bologna. More milk. Cream cheese. Right, let's eat some of this. There we go. Well fed. Good. Okay, we're not stuffed, so we'll be fine. Let's go to sleep. Because we're going to pass out if we don't go to sleep now. And in the morning, we will attempt to get back to base. Uh, oh, and actually, no. Let's cook some food before anything else. We've got all this raw stuff. We can cook it. Electricity still on? Might as well. Right. Put them in, put them in. Do we have anything else? I think... That's about it. No, what am I talking about? We've got this in our... Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot I had that in my fanny pack. Right, we're good. Turn on. We're not going to eat this, don't worry. I'm not going to eat it. I'm just going to have it in uh, in my bag. So, let's chuck all this in there. Might have to put the crowbar away as well. It's just too heavy. Nope, we can't. Oh, it's only got 10. We need to take out something that's 0.5. Oh, perfect. And that go in there. Yeah, and if we're well fed in the morning, hopefully. Touch wood. I, I know crowbar is much better than a nightstick. I know I should be using that. However, it's two-handed. And Saf's cooking is what the coffee grinder's from. So, yeah. I think I, I think you can use crowbars one-handed, but it's nowhere near as effective. And it's a lot slower. Whereas doing it this way, we can still attack fairly quickly. And we shouldn't be as encumbered. So I'm hoping, doing it this way, we should be able to get back to base fairly safely. Put that away. Okay, right, let's go to sleep anyway. And we missed our show. Might need to... That's set an alarm. Oh, we're probably going to wake up before it, but that's set an alarm. Set alarm. Right, cool. 
go to sleep. Um, honestly, I've been using it in a personal playthrough. I've noticed no issues with it. It seems pretty good so far. Um, OP, I wouldn't say it's OP. I think it's quite nice being able to cook your own stuff. But I, I wouldn't say it's any anything. I wouldn't say it's particularly OP at all. Um, I will leave those earbuds. That's true. David won't miss anything. Right. Uh, what should we do? We're, we're not tired, and it's one o'clock in the morning. And we have no way of making ourselves extra tired. Oh, let's read that. That's some extra weight we can get rid of. There we go. Is there anything else we can get rid of, thinking about it, while we're here? Uh, lots. That's just, I'll quickly run through this again. So, uh, this is all the all the mods. I mean, I will make a mod list for next episode, but there's lots here. So mostly, like this whole section is basically just vehicle mods from mostly Ki5, but we've got all sorts of stuff going on here. So lots and lots and lots of stuff. So yeah, but I will make a mod list for next episode, which will probably be next week. Which will have all of them in it. Okay, right. Let's just keep that in our main inventory for the time being. I put the water away accidentally. Can we sleep yet? No. Alright, we're going to have to fast forward a little bit till we can. Or we can just try and take the vitamins. I think it's pretty balanced. I, don't, I haven't got anything completely overpowered. Now, I didn't want anything that was going to be too heavy, so I think I've I think I've made a fairly a fairly nice list that doesn't lag the game too much. My main series I'm doing, um, I mean Raven Creek, Britters, and Hydrocraft. It's starting to make my uh, my computer cry. <laughs> it's my computer's not bad, but it's not great. And uh, that list, especially when I zoom all the way out in Raven Creek, it is not happy. Um, it's a uh. Ryzen 5 3600, uh, GTX, there's uh, something there, um, 1066 gigabyte, uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, that's pretty much the main stuff, isn't it? And it's an SSD. So I've got, it's pretty, it's, it's not bad. And it's, for the product Zomboid, it's, it's great. But yeah, with those mods added, it, it does start to chug when you zoom out as far as you uh, possibly can. Got one following us. Thank you. I built it myself. The only issue is that I don't know whether it's the CPU or it's the motherboard, but there is an issue where I can't, for some reason, uh, run my RAM in a like whatever it's called together, like dual dual running. Well, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Can't think right now. Um, so basically, there's an issue where I have to install my RAM in completely different slots, so I don't get the benefit of them running together, but it's it's not that big a deal. It still runs absolutely fine apart from that. But I um, I built my computer in parts, so I, I could only buy bits when I had the money to buy bits, stupidly. So I bought my motherboard first, and then by the time I built my computer, the, the warranty was up, so I couldn't send it back. Which was a shame, but one of those things. No, it wasn't the bias. It wasn't. It wasn't that. Yeah, dual channel. That's it. Um, I did try that. I tried everything, and presumably it's just a fault with the motherboard. So there's nothing really I could do about it. But I think it might be a pin or something. No, it's not the wrong slots. I have to purposely have it in the wrong slots, otherwise it doesn't work. It just it, the computer won't turn on if it's in the correct slots. It's. I think there is just a, an issue with one of the pins or something on the motherboard. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> How heavy is that? Oh, it's only 10. I should, if I'm lucky, be able to jump over. 
Come on. Okay, fine. You know what? If you're going to be stubborn like that, on the floor you go. It is really weird. I've, I've had to read up about it for ages and I was tearing my hair out about it for forever trying to figure it all out. Um, but I've just learned to live with it. And really, I just need to buy another motherboard. But it could either be the CPU with a bent pin or it could be the motherboard. Not quite sure which. But sod's law is if I buy a new motherboard and set it all up, it's going to be the CPU. So I'm, um, I'm kind of just waiting until... I, I have the money and then I'll just buy a whole new computer, I think, or at least the at least um, get it properly built by someone else. Because I built it myself and I took the risk of doing it and I've done it before and it was fine. But this time round, I had that issue. So I think it's probably worth spending a few hundred, a few extra hundred quid on someone else making it and it be their problem if it doesn't work. Oh, thank you so much. That's really cool. Uh, Ryzen 3 600. Possibly. I don't know. I looked it up and there have been... There is the occasional very rare issue on motherboards where it can happen. But most people just say send it back and you'll get a new one. But I tried and I bought it like ages ago and I wasn't able to get it back. So just one of those things. But it's fine. The computer still works absolutely fine. And seeing as it's 32 gigabytes of RAM. It, it doesn't matter that much. See you later. Thank you. Right, we are back. Good. Whew. Well, that was an effort. <laughs> we got everything back, though. We're back in one piece. All good. Cool. Let's chuck this in the oven. We'll cook up the rodent meat, because apparently there was a rat in the bin downstairs. Um, didn't quite make it we didn't quite make it to the uh, pharmacy, but we got a coffee grinder and we've got coffee and we've got all this food. I mean, mozzarella is just worth it in the long run anyway. Parmesan, we got another plushie. We've got the big spiffo. So someone said that you can't pick it up once you've placed it. Is that right? Because I've never actually found one. Of them. Oh, it's bio spiffo, not a big spiffo. Okay, that should be fine. Um, where are you going to go then? Okay, for some reason I can't actually see it. Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. Ow, stop it. You go on the table, and you're going to watch me work out when I can be bothered to. Hello, David. You know what? We're going to give you uh, give you some ponies. That's a weird little glitch. I can't see placing them until I've placed them down once already. I wonder why that is. Huh. That's bizarre. Literally never had that happen before. Ah, no, my, my rodent meat. Uh, the overarching goal is pretty much to try and improve my character to a decent point. My character is awful. I mean, it's got awful fitness. We are fast learner, so we are going up in skills fairly quickly. But it would be good to get our, ourselves better. I haven't set any specific goals yet. Um, apart from maybe getting to Louisville, Louisville, setting up a base there, and actually surviving. Um, I would like to do a proper little run-through so we can go travelling around and stuff. We find a decent car. But really, I think it will be once we've got ourselves set up and we've got a car, it'll be a little bit nomadic so we're ready to settle down. We'll find a space, probably in a farm just south of uh, Louisville, I think. I really there's a There's a place I've got in mind which I really like. And yeah, we'll just settle down and um, yeah, have a nice peaceful life in the countryside. I think that's that's the aim. But to get there, it's we're gonna need a lot of stuff to get there. So, but well, see how it goes. Right. Anyway, got. A, I need to sort all this out. Oh, I'm not gonna eat that. No, <laughs> I thought it was fresh. It's not fresh. Uh, this can go in the freezer for the time being if I don't have anything better. But for now, we should be able to make. Spaghetti. We need some chopped tomatoes. We don't have any tomatoes, though, do we? Do we have any tinned tomatoes? Railroad would be good. Yeah. If I can get that. Canned tomatoes. Here we go. But I think I can make it from canned tomatoes as well. For 
quick little look. Craft helper. Tomato sauce with canned tomatoes. I need vin- uh, No, I can't. I can make lasagna, though. I need pasta sheets. Hmm. Although, saying that, there was cream cheese at the other place. There wasn't any pro- Oh, no, we've got we've got cheese anyway. We just need pasta sheets and we can make lasagna. Oh, that would be good. I think one of the aims, anyway, for this series is that I could make some- Like, make some decent food. Get myself to make some, uh, make a cake or something. One of my series was always make a cake in Project Zomboid with everything extremely low and, like, it's the 10 years later mod or something. And you have to scrounge to find powdered milk or something to make it. I think that would be really fun to do. But we'll see how it goes. Nearly. We've got nearly enough stuff to make. Oh, we can't actually make anything with mozzarella cheese. Really? Okay. Just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I do like some mozzarella cheese. Okay, we need to dump this stuff. We've got the coffee grinder. We can grind coffee. We just need to find that bag of coffee that we had. Wherever it is. The music's changed. Why is the music changed? Right, get everything out. I think there might be a zombie outside. Chuck them on the floor for the time being. Um. Right, I need to rest up. Let's just rest up. Let's go on this chair so we can see if a zombie does actually come in. I don't. I think it won't. I think we'll be okay. But just in case. Rest here for an hour. Here we go. Right, come on in, David. It's time. And then I think, after this, I'm going to have to call it a day. Uh, so, yeah, Horde is probably inbound, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see if it is there next time. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope hope you enjoyed my first stream. I hope it went all right. Um, yeah. I think this, I'll try and think of some aims to actually do off camera before next episode and I'll have a list and we'll just kind of have a little tick list of things that we could do. Maybe like someone suggested, I'll just set up my own, um, my own bucket, uh, bucket list from what I would want in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, because the chat wanted two TVs. <laughs> that was the only reason. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And what is, is our carpentry going to get up to four? No, nowhere near. But, yeah. Um, so, I'll let you know ahead of time, not like half an hour beforehand when I'm going to do the next stream. It might be the same time next week. I don't know if it's going to be the full three hours. I might do it for two. Um, I might do it on the Friday. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Cheers. Bye-bye.